Hi all, I thought I would give you a little preview of our new catalog system. It's really awesome, it's got some amazing new features, so I thought I'd give you a tutorial to check it out if you haven't already. You'll see across here, you'll see these books um, filing by. These are the newest books that we have in the library. If there's one you like, you can click on it. It will tell you a little bit about the book, who wrote it, and if it's available. If you want it, give us a ring. We will be more than happy to have you pick it up curbside. You'll see up here, you can search. You can search by um, specific fields, author, subject, title, phrase, and there's even more search options where you can get it, narrow it down even more. There's also search by series, so if you know the series name, but you don't know the next one in the book, um, in the book series, you can search here. It's really wonderful. And then there's subject search as well. You can also log into your account and even unlock even more features like renewing your books, putting books on hold, things like that. So you can go in here and you'll put your library card number and your password is your last name. So you're going to log in. You're going to want it to say that this is logged in as and it should show your library card number. Then you click, click my account and it shows first account info. So it will show your barcode. If you want to display it to be scanned, you can do that. Um, it could, um, it shows your address and your phone number and your email. You can add phone and email if you would like. If you see that it's not correct what we have, just give us a ring. Make sure we have your correct address and email and phone number. It also shows how much you have saved by borrowing rather than buying. It also shows where you have your notifications in and how. If you also had a cell phone listed on your account, you could select either email or um, text to get um, notifications, which is really great as well. It will show you um, when things are due. You have currently eight items out. Um, you have the availability to renew. So if you were to click on that one, it would show us that it was successful and you are able to renew that book. And here is the new due date. If it's not renewable, it will let you know. That could be because you've hit your max renewals or there's a hold pending. So if you have questions about that, you can give us a ring and we can help you with that. You can also um, have favorite authors. You can put them on a list. So say you wanted CJ Box large print. So every time you would get, we would get a new CJ Box, you would be put on the list automatically to get the newest books and we'd call you when it's your turn. So you can click on either book or large print. So you can go through um, this list of authors and select from there. It's so, so cool. You can also defer holds if you're going out of town. You can tell from when to when you're going. So if you were to get a hold in that time, it just defers you. It doesn't take you off the list, it just moves you down. So it's really, really great. And if we're missing something, you can request an item. Let us know with the title author, any additional information, what type you would like, and then you can send the request. Some really neat features. You can also bookmark books you like, and then it will remind you here of some books like kind of like a wish list. It also will tell you your history. So if you're like, man, what did I read a few times ago? It will let you know on that one. The nice thing too is when you search on a catalog, it will tell you you have read it. So we're gonna copy that and we're gonna search up here for that. I usually like title starts with kind of narrows down our search. So it shows you right here, you checked out this title on 1-6. So if you're just searching for books and you want to find it, it will tell you that you have checked it out, which is really awesome. I love that about it. So you can search just by typing things in there, more search options. So that is how you can do all that fun stuff. So let's clear that and say that we want, we're looking at these books. You can bookmark this item right here and you can reserve this item. So the nice thing about reserve this item is we get a notification that you reserved it. We will pull it, get it ready, and then we'll give you a ring to let you know that item's ready for you to be picked up. 
So you can find a book that you like and reserve it, and then we pull it and you pick it up curbside. It's so handy and so awesome. You can also bookmark this and that'll go into your account history. So if you just don't have time to read it now, but don't want to forget about it, you can. It's great. It shows a summary. You can review the title. It shows you awesome, awesome things. If it's regular print, large print, it's check, it's in. You'll see how this one's in yellow and this one's in red. Red mean is, means it's out. So you would not be able to check that one out, but you can reserve that item to be put on hold for it. So as soon as it came up, you'd be able to get a notification from us that it's in. We also have a kid's catalog, which is amazing. So you can get to the kid's catalog by going at the bottom right here. You'll see it along the bottom and it will look like this and it's got it by category. So you can still search here. It's still the same things, fiction or nonfiction, but you could click on if you wanted books about frogs. Then it would show you a list of frog books, where to find them. You can still put things on hold here too. And you can look by series down here as well and categories to get back, but it's so fun. This would be a great tool for your kids to learn how to find books in the library to look for. They can put reserves on books to be picked up at the library too. So it'd be a really fun way for you guys to look together and teach them how to find books too. And then hopefully when we are open to the public a little more, then you can come into the library and help them find them on the shelves. That's also really great practice from computer to finding the book to checking it out. So these are our catalogs now. When you're done, you can log out and we'll take you back to the main screen. It also gets you, our main screen of our catalog gets you to Bridges and other great resources. There's also what's hot. So the most popular books, if you wanted to see those or what's new, you can pick all items from the last week, month, two weeks, two months, and you can search and they will come up. So if you saw something in the paper and you couldn't remember what it was, you can search back two months, which is amazing. So fun to use. I feel like just come play with it, see all the fun features, and you can always give us a call at 653-2726 if you have questions about how to do something, but just explore it. You'll have so much fun. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Thank you so much for listening to my tutorial.